So we may very well end up with uh, downtown relief on all runs, and just you'll work a segment, and then you'll hand it off to another operator to work that segment. So the operators essentially can have four branches. To work. Uh, but then again, we may not. So you know, that's that's kind of the way I see it right now. You know, like, uh, which leads us to one more thing, and I'll kind of open up the questions. Um, the green line and the ex at the green line and the Crenshaw line. Uh, just when we thought it was safe to try this uh, regional connector thing, we're going to actually do the same thing out in the airport area. Um, the potential is, let's say something happens, we get an LAX stub terminal into the, by there, it's right there by terminal. Or even, uh, I've heard rumors in the last week or so, Bart, you probably know more about this than I do, uh, of the uh, coastal, the coastal alignment starting to go back into discussion phase. Um, and we get down to Torrance. Uh, all of a sudden, we have operating scenarios up the kazoo. We, um, we'll have to make some decisions because we certainly can't have the green line uh, bifurcated down into Torrance and into LAX. It's probably just asking too much because there's just going to be too many trains going through this short little segment. This we'll have what we'll have is uh, a mini regional connector in the space of about a mile and a half from aviation up to Century and Aviation Station. And so we, we, we've created the same exact thing that we have downtown out here at LAX, only even with tighter parameters. And it will also be a flat junction out of so, if, that, if one of your questions is, why don't you tie the Crenshaw line in with the exposition line, this is the reason why we're not going to do it. We'll fight it to the death right now, at least from operations land. Um, we have to keep them separated because the, the moment two tracks are tied together there, and all of a sudden the whole system is tied together, and, and, and there's, there's no, everything will stop. <laughs> It'll just stop. So we're going to keep them separate and keep a, 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 a transfer connection there at Crenshaw. You know, and that might lead, lead uh, to a better future for the Crenshaw project in, on its own because uh, if, you're, if you're separate there, then that means you don't have to stop there. And maybe there's some day when that goes north from there uh, into the mid-city area. And all of a sudden the Crenshaw project Let's say South Bay is completed down into Torrance. I used to live down in Torrance. How many people live in Torrance? All right, Torrance. Uh, one of the amazing things about Torrance that I couldn't get over when I first came down here in '87, um, road line 443 and 444, and most of the time 444. It was just always amazing, but the the demographics of the line, uh, the, the passenger movement. Was it was always an off-peak line to the point of 100 people per bus. Uh, and they, in the afternoon, you bring the buses out of Palos Verdes, uh, north just filled to the gills, and you get up to Artesia on Hawthorne, and the bus would empty out. And every last person on that bus walks a block and a half up to line 40, and they all get right back on the bus. And you know, we were line 40 is going, it's basically where Crenshaw is being built. So, and it, that happens in the morning the exact reverse direction. There, you know, this, this little old Crenshaw project, that, that it's really kind of hard to justify in a lot of operational ways, could really be a winner in this whole thing. Uh, it could run down into Torrance, it could take that branch, and then uh, the, possibly the Green Line could just take the North Branch and go up to LAX, and you'd have a, a nice, Probably an X. Yeah, just like we have downtown. Same thing. Same exactly. thing exactly. So you know that's just that's going that's rolling around my mind. Maybe I'm maybe I'm the only one right now that has those marbles rolling around. But that's just something I'm kind of thinking about. It makes the subway look really easy. <laughs> uh, you know the subway will just function pretty much like it does right now. Purple, red, purple, red. Only just going further out, we'll be carrying a whole lot more people. Uh, the the subway. The ridership numbers for the subway, uh, the purple line portion of it, are astounding. And I guess that's the only word you can use to describe it. They are just something else uh, when it comes to projections. Uh, because it, it, 
quite simply goes where a lot of people go every day, uh, to the west side, to and from the west side. Uh, truly, it, you know, it's, it's hard for a lot of people, I think, to, to grasp the fact that that is a regional line, even though it's in the west side. Uh, it very much is a regional line. It's, the moment that opens, everything else is going to is going to run much more smoothly in this county in terms of freeway traffic and things like that. So, uh, you know, the Crenshaw operation with the Green Line uh, service, uh, probably, I would like to get the Green Line down to the same multiple as the Blue Line. As you've noticed, anybody who's ridden during the rush hour, one's kind of at five, five and a half, the other one's at seven and a half. Well, the goal is probably six for the near-term future. Then we get them at six, then we can just split headways. So nobody has to wait a long time, and, and then maybe we can recover the 12-minute uh, the base service, which was once on the Green Line, uh, to where we uh, split the headways during the end day, too. Um, of course, I'm spending somebody else's money right now. Actually, everybody who lives in LA County, that's who <coughs> Expo will be some factor of whatever, or I'm sorry, uh, Crenshaw will be a headway <coughs> factor of what the Green Line's operating. Maybe maybe someday it dominates the Green Line and it goes the other way around. We'll have to see. Uh, so with that, I want to take questions. <coughs> I want to talk all night. So uh, fire away. <laughs> <laughs>